<clears throat> For Physics 2212, I attended the public lecture by Abhe Ashtakar on November 14th in the Kolk. I chose this lecture because I have never learned very much about the Big Bang or the origin of the universe, so I was excited to see what I could learn from such a distinguished speaker. Unfortunately, I found that most of the actual physics presented in the lecture was over my head, but I will try my best to relate to you in this video what I learned. Dr. Ashtakar received his PhD in physics from the University of Chicago in 1974. Since then, he has been on the forefront of research on the physics of the cosmos. He began his lecture by talking about Einstein's theory of general relativity and the importance of that discovery into our understanding of the world today. From what I could gather, the main idea of the theory of general relativity is that objects of a big enough mass cause a distortion in space-time, and this distortion is known as gravity. I found one of the most interesting and compelling parts of the lecture to be when Dr. Ashtakar talked about how convinced Einstein was of his findings. He sent the theory to his friend and said that he was not sending along any accompanying statements to show that it was true because Einstein was so sure that once his friend examined it, he would be utterly convinced that it was true. This discovery led to the idea of the Big Bang as the creation of the universe. This part was also hard for me to understand, but it seems like once Einstein discovered that light is also warped by gravity, we could observe the light expanding on the edges of the universe and see that the universe was much smaller and is constantly expanding now. Dr. Ashtakar then went on to talk about how the theory of the Big Bang has changed to the theory of the Big Bounce. The Big Bang Theory, the Big Bounce Theory says that the Big Bang happened after another universe had contracted to almost nothing and that our universe is in an endless cycle of universes that expand and contract. I believe that this is just a theory and that not all physicists support it right now. Overall, I'm extremely glad that I attended this public lecture and have a much better understanding of how the universe was formed and how Einstein contributed to our understanding of the cosmos today.